Konnichiwa, hope everyone's good. Got a week off of work, so got some time to come to the woods. Got a new bike as well. Got it for free. It's a giant Defy. It's about two and a half, three thousand pound new. I got it out of a skip for now. All that was wrong with it is it needed a new wheel and new brakes. In the air drill, yeah. Needs to be uh, adjusted. We need some work done on the uh, forks as well. Somebody's had an accident on it. But this is just cosmetic. I don't care about this. But that's an awesome bike. Aluminium as well. You can lift it with one finger. I'm used to uh, steel framed bikes, so... Anyway, that's my new race bike. But on with what I really wanted to do. Real quick video on my new Bushcraft and Camping Bag. So this is the British Army Shortback Bergen. So on the front, it's got a big pocket right here. It's held in place with some Velcro and it's got a big heavy duty zipper on it. Just the British Army one. It's not I don't know if it's YKK, it might be made by them and branded differently, but it doesn't say YKK. It doesn't really matter, it's you know British Army. It's heavy duty, built to last. So this is big enough for a canteen. Canteen cup, the stove, where you can get the mess tins will fit in there. And there's a lot of room. You can fit things around it, utensils. Gloves, whatever. I'll just use it as a big first aid, pou uh, aid pouch. So a lot of room in that. Another huge zipper right here. Massive pocket. Which goes from around the back to there. I've got attachment points all down the side. The straps are really thick. Pardon. It's got more pardon on the back as well. You got a waist strap, carry handle. You've got load lifters, which are awesome. And on the sides here, you've got a zipper. And this is a 90 pound, uh, 90 litre rucksack. We've got straps you can use to either make the bag more compact or you can lash these together with the uh, rocket pouches and make it more secure. Buckles as well on the bottom, two on the top. Buckle closure for the main lid, and then again, you've got a massive pouch on the top. You can fit a shelter system in here, goes from the bottom all the way down. Huge pouch, spare clothes, whatever, will fit in there. Stone cover. And then in the back, you've got a frame made of aluminium.
when you get them, you get the rocket pouches. And these just, you got buckles on them, so you buckle them together. So if you want a really secure fit, you've got these straps on the pack and you've got a slots on the back of the pouches on the top so you can run these straps through here and then these buckles can clip on down here and then you can zip the whole thing together pouch has got the zippers on the sides I'm not going to bother buckling it just for the quickness of the video as easy as the pouches go on. So it also comes issued with uh, a yoke, so you can convert the rocket pouches into, I think it's a 20 or 30 litre day pack. So all you need to do is zip these together. And these are uh, YKK zippers. Like I say, it doesn't really matter what brand they are. It's British Army, it's built to last. And you just buckle everything together. And that's your little day pack ready to go. Now that's your day pack ready to go. You've also got a waist strap with the yoke as well. So this is what it looks like being worn. So that's a real quick video on my new British Army short back Bergen. I've had it for about four or five weeks, but this is the first time I've been able to come down to the woods. With a new job, I'm getting up at quarter to five every morning, cycling to work for seven o'clock, and then I'm there 4.30, sometimes five o'clock every day. And then Saturdays, I'm doing four hours on a garden so I haven't got much time Sundays I haven't got much time during the day I don't feel like I have anyway so I've got to be in bed for about 10 o'clock to get up for quarter to five so I got a week off though so hopefully Thursday I'm gonna do an overnight camp I want to do a coastal one I might go on George Bay with the bivy bag but uh, that's if I don't get a call to go into work. They just said there was no jobs on, so they give us a week off. But if a job comes up, then I might have to cancel those plans. But 
for now I've got the rest of the week off I just worked on Monday but uh, anyway that's my British Army short back Bergen thanks for watching